Please don't execute me. It is such a waste of my lovely woman's body. I've got years of shagging left in me. Why chop off my head when thou could lift up my dress and look at my front bottom? What? I'm not going to kill you. Kevin? <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> How's your homework going? Fine until you came in. Oh. 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 Bring this mess down when you come, please. I'm not your slave. Kevin, don't talk to your mother like that. Don't talk to your mother like that. Dear diary, sorry I've never written in you. I have higher things on my mind. If I did write down my thoughts, you would be a worldwide bestseller. For I am a teenage genius, unrecognized by the world. The only person who truly understands me is my best mate, Perry. What, Kev? No. He is joyful in his understanding of my bountiful wisdom. You've got your jacket on inside out. I do know. I don't conform to conventional dress patterns. Until Perry met me, he was but a humble peasant. But now, he is top. Perry and I are only truly free to express our world philosophy through our mixes. Yes, my senile parents will surely eat their pants. You're a genius, darling. You certainly proved us wrong. I sure did. Thanks, will you shag me? Okay. Please mess it up. Sessions for senior citizens.
Good girl. 